What's up, Pandudes? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you know me. I like drinking whiskey on days like this, any days that end with Y. Hey, and a couple of my good friends, Lane and Mandy, picked me up this as a gift. Uh, this is the Norlin Whiskey Glass. This is a two for set, and uh, it's a two hand blown, double walled uh, whiskey drinking glasses. Now, you know, I've shown you some whiskey drink glasses in the past, I think, um, and they're they tend to be more traditional. This one is, was kickstarted, is kind of heavily thought out. I thought I would show it to you and show you what you would get. Um, I've kind of already opened it a little bit here, but you do have a whiskey glass. It comes in a tube like this, which is pretty awesome because it's actually very much like a premier or a premium whiskey uh, packaging. So the, the glasses come wrapped up like this, which is good because they're actually quite delicate. Um, I don't know if I'd call them like delicate, but they, they, they tend to be, they tend to feel much more delicate than I think you anticipate them. Look, so it comes with this. I actually didn't even open this. What is this? Oh, it's like a, uh, all right. Like a microfiber cleaning cloth. And does it say anything or something on it? No, but we'll be able to rub it while I'm tell telling you about it. So that's kind of cool. Now, a couple things I will throw out here which are pretty obvious. The double walled glass here, as you can see, has kind of this inner, more like a, uh, a Cairn style whiskey, kind of like a traditional style whiskey glass. And then the outer has more of like a kind of a bulbous, like a wine glass uh, bulb. You know, so you have kind of a, a large feeling glass in your hand, but you actually have that smaller interior volume uh, design more for whiskey and that's to kind of focus those aromas and those scents up to your nose but giving you kind of a uh, a less dainty glass something larger to hold on to so they really are designed for whiskey unless you really want a kind of a small volume of another drink you know I would certainly use these for maybe like a port or a brandy or a sherry or something like that as well now you might think, wow, it's a big piece of glass, but as I said, double walled means that this is hollow. And what they do is they actually make this outer glass shell and this inner one separately. And then they kind of cut the tops off and then they fuse them together, right? So this piece is like the last piece that's melted on and that's where it holds them together. Now, that means you have air inside, but obviously it's airtight, so you don't have to worry about anything getting inside the walls. But that being said, it does feel really light, right? They, they feel more like, uh, you know, champagne flutes than kind of heavy drinking glasses, okay? So just gonna keep that in mind. Now, the other thing is you have some of these facets down here, as you can see these triangular facets, and then a flat base, so they obviously stand up. But what I've also noticed is that you can seam on some of these facets, depending on how your table's oriented, and depending on how kind of how they're weighted, uh, it will sit on the facet, right? So once you put some liquid in them too, they will probably whoops, uh, sit a little bit better on the facet, but if you wanted to kind of um, sit them on their side to kind of see what the color looks like of the whiskey or the bourbon or the liqueur you're drinking, you could certainly do that. I have some that are designed to only sit on that edge, but it's kind of nice that you could potentially do that as well as, as stand them up straight. Now, uh, in true techie fashion, these things were kickstarted, right? So you could you could support these things on Kickstarter a year or so ago, and I didn't. Uh, not that I didn't want to, but uh, you could. So you know, I think that shows you how in the tech world these guys were. They really thought about it a lot. Now the last thing I will show you is that it might be a little hard to see here, but down on the bottom you have basically four like fins. So right here you kind of have a little bit of a ridge. It might be a little hard to see there. Um, and down here, they kind of look like raised bumps, and you have four of these. And, you know, they're pretty high. I mean, <laughs> they're, they're, they're no small little ridge, and it's going to be a little hard to show you there, but what those do is those kind of work like agitators, so as you swirl your whiskey, they're going to, uh, you know, aerate it a little bit. Now, I have a little uh, whiskey here, scotch here actually, and let's go ahead and pour it in. Now, this is just my throwaway scotch. I just I just use it for demos and then pour it down the drain, right? So, if we go ahead and 
you know, I save the good stuff, you know, like my the stuff that comes in my plastic bottles for really drinking. So there we go. We've got whiskey in there now, and you can kind of see the distortion where those bumps are down on the bottom there. And the idea is that when you're swirling it like this, you are getting some extra agitation with those little uh, bumps on the bottom of that inner wall, right? And then you can bring it up to your nose. Oh, yeah. One more time. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that. Just let it fill your nostrils. It does smell pretty good. But this is a blend. Who drinks blends? Um, and so you can swirl that around. Nice golden color. And then, like I said, because it kind of works like a Glencairn cask glass, it, uh, it helps kind of keep all those aromas in one place. Um, and... You know, they talk about this glass being a little more social. You don't have to dip your head all the way back. Uh, I don't buy that, but that's what they say. But overall, I think it's a really nice glass. Maybe not as, oh, I don't know, on the nose <laughs> or pompous or maybe um, pretentious as kind of like the, the smaller whiskey snifters. Um, but it's not as a boorish as just pouring your whiskey in a styrofoam cup like I normally do. So these Norlin whiskey glasses are pretty pretty awesome now they come with a pretty pretty awesome price too right uh, basically 50 bucks for two of them so you know in terms of glassware it could be some of the most expensive glassware you own and I'm throwing in like Waterford crystal and all that into it too but uh, in terms of do they work yeah and can I drink this stuff oh you bet I can um, I could, like I said, I could drink it out of a styrofoam cup if I needed to, but pretty cool. I definitely dig it. This Norlin whiskey glass is certainly something that is pretty awesome. If you have like a, uh, a whiskey aficionado that comes over and wants to, uh, have a dram with you, uh, to bust these out and try it out. So check it out. I'll put a link to Norlin in the description and notice you can't get these on Amazon for some reason, but uh, maybe that's just a matter of time. Peter Von Panda. Out.